The Hilltop Glove Podcast is sponsored by Mid Carolina Service Company. Mid Carolina Service Company is the first name to search for your residential or commercial HVAC needs in Lexington and surrounding areas. Just go holla at Jason and Clint. They'll hook you up on the air conditioners, on the restaurant equipment, refrigerators, refrigeration, ice machine repair. They've been doing this for years. I've known them cats forever. Family owned and operated since 2006, they pride themselves in their quality work and customer relationships. Call 803-356-4153 or visit midcarolinaserviceco.com for no obligation quote for service today. This episode of Hilltop Wealth Podcast is brought to you by the Simon Market Agency. Turn an ordinary business into an extraordinary one since 2020. Simon James and his team do the hard work of attracting new customers so you can focus on making your business exceptional. As a brand marketing expert, Simon specializes in creating a unique and unforgettable identity for your business. From generating awareness to captivating content creation and strategic advertising, Simon Marketing Agency has you covered. Elevate your business today. Give them a call at 843 942 8880 or email them at simon at smasimon.com. Visit them at www.simonmarketing.agency. Make sure to follow them on Instagram at brand simon TV. This episode of the Hilltop Club podcast is sponsored by Bob's. Bob's is a Columbia based retailer of over 100 Black owned products from 20 Black owned businesses. Bob's offers a wide range of eight items from household cleaning, cosmetics, and everything in between. With every visit to Bob's, we support the Black owned businesses, giving them the opportunity to grow and establish connections with our community. Bob's is located inside the Noma Warehouse at 2222. Sumter Street in Columbia, South Carolina. Visit their website, reshopbops.com for in-store pickup or to find out more. Bops can also be found via social media on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at We Shop Bops. When you stop by, tell them the Hilltop Glove sent you. Bops brings quality Black brands to the Columbia community. The Hilltop Glove Podcast is sponsored by True Brilliance Entertainment. True Brilliance is a production, promotions, and management company dedicated to connecting artists and producers across the Carolinas to music industry professionals. Several of their clients have placements both domestic and internationally as a result of their services. Are you an artist or producer looking to build meaningful relationships within the music industry? Then True Brilliance is for you. Check them out at pairofmilitary.com. That's spelled P-A-I-R-A military.com. Welcome to the Hilltop Glove Podcast. 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 The Hilltop Glove Podcast. Welcome to the Hilltop Glove Podcast. In today's episode, we are thrilled to have Tony Wade, also known as the Hip Hop Picasso, joining us. Tony Wavy, a rising star in both realms of hip hop, music, and painting, which is dope, very dope, hails from Monroe, Michigan, and was raised in Charlotte. Growing up in a musically inclined family immersed in church music, Tony's passion for art and music blossomed at a young age. Influenced by legendary producers like Jay Dilla, artists like Snoop Dogg, Tony's art and music are deeply intertwined, with each piece carrying multiple layers of meaning. Known for his lyrical mastery, style, and captivating hooks, Tony's music is a reflection of his self-awareness and creativity. His combination of storytelling, intricate wordplay, and dynamic delivery offers a fresh and exciting experience for all music enthusiasts. If you're seeking a new approach to music or simply looking for a collection of sounds that resonate, be sure to put them on your radar. How are you doing today? Man, y'all did y'all research. I'm excited. I'm trying to calm down. I'm trying to calm down. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I got excited about the intro. People's bios. No, it, it, no, seriously. <laughs> no, seriously. No, she does excellent <laughs> research, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. It's bad. But um, we always like to start with the question of um. Well, first of all, you're doing well today. Yeah, I'm blessed. Came in, beautiful day. Up to looking real. We're teasing. We're getting ready, y'all. Trying to make sure we staying nice and moisturized in here, <laughs> not ashy. 
So I try to make sure I moisturize the day I mess up, y'all. I hollered at the shower, I was running behind. <laughs> See, <you> shower, that's <laughs> natural. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 yeah, man. Like, get my aquifer. I, like, I like being greasy. See? Say it. It's good for you. So, um, you came in looking great today. Yeah, you're going to have the shine, man. So, um, it's excellent. I appreciate you coming in, sitting with us today. I love people taking the time out of their day, especially when you're busy. You have lots of things to do. So, um, we won't waste your time. I got to ask you this, though. We always ask everybody. This is how we start. Um, who or what influenced you growing up? Do you have any siblings? And what was your favorite musician? I mean, instrument as a child. And you can take time on that. Man. We just have to bother you. Got to tell our folks a little bit about yourself. Who you are, where you're Okay, from. well, you, you talked a little bit about it in the bio. So, mm -hmm. like I said, I'm originally from Michigan. So, you know, that Motown influence, mm -hmm. Dillas, all those things. I had an uncle early on. He would sit, we would sit with him. He'd be making beats all day. He played the drums. And then I come from a church family. So, everybody oh. sings. Everybody does everything. Talented. So, like, I grew up around, I grew up around that. So, mm -hmm. music is like, second nature but i couldn't listen to hip-hop you know what i'm saying in the car i wait till mama got out the car i'm bumping drake you know what i'm saying he on the radio yeah. over at that time and you know early on it just it was just like i was fascinated with it but like it wasn't like something i knew that i could do that i wanted to do okay. and then like when it comes to like instruments so i always wanted to play the drum but my mom was like that's too much noise yeah. <laughs> True. Learn the keyboard the saxophone yeah. so which, which is crazy before actually right before i moved to charlotte from michigan um uh, I was playing the keyboard. The guy, he's like, man, you're a prodigy. You know what I'm saying? But I was, I was just not, I, would, I never got to finish learning it. So I never even got the key. You didn't get the dough. I, I didn't get to that. dive deep into it. I yeah. was still doing it a little bit, but then it just kind of fell off. And, you know, I kind of got back into it later in life. Okay. Well, I have a question about this because you actually said something I like to talk about. So I tell you, I always like to talk about this. I love gospel music. I love gospel music. I, I love gospel music. And I, I like, all right, so here's my question. Since you can't listen to hip hop, when you were riding with your parents, what what did they listen to and what did you like that they listened to? Because um, I know that can be two different things. I know that's how I was with my right. grandma. She liked the Mighty Clouds of Joy. I want to hear Kirk Franklin. Right. So we had a balance. Uh, Jay Moss, okay. uh, if you know about that. Uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, Mary Mary. She uh, had that yeah. hip-hop vibe. Yeah, man. Uh, what else? Uh, Kirk. Uh, I mean, but uh, we, we got to listen to hip-hop late, like, you know, when Lecrae was coming out. You know what I'm saying? And that so, was a... Good Lord, Lecrae. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, look, yeah. Look, they, people, people stay on Lecrae. Lecrae got bars. Yes, like, I think that's that's one of the early influences that sometimes I forget about because mm -hmm. I listen to a lot of Lecrae. Like my first CD, we yeah. got it during Christmas. Was like, I can't remember what tape it was. I think it was like Gravity or something like that oh, or something God. like that. But we used to listen to that back to back. Michael Jackson too. My family, they let us listen to some Michael Jackson. Michael He's Jackson, right, man. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, you gotta listen to the yeah. Motown sound. Facts. Yeah, that was one of the things I was always happy about was like growing up, we didn't really listen to a lot of hip hop unless it was bought in or cousin had it. And so um, we were lucky, like we'd go hang out with them to hear the early nineties. So we're talking about like Snoop Dogg, Dr. Yeah. Dre, getting listening to Biggie and stuff when they first come now, Wu Tang and stuff like that. And we'd be like, ooh, look at this, this amazing street music right here. Yeah, fact. To to <laughs> but we get to listen to anything that was Motown. So like growing up, my new dad bought us um we had a tape this man. Cassette tape. Cassette tape. Right? I was a little kid and I could, the thing about cassette was easy. I couldn't really mess it up. So I was putting my little cassette and I had my little earphones listening off the wall. Yeah. Over Ooh. and over oh. and over again. So. Some people are still doing cassettes. Yeah, cassettes are dope, man. Yeah. I mean, it's a good <laughs> medium. Look, it got, it got a little cassette <laughs> sound, man. I really been on the records, like yeah. the record player and yeah. stuff like vinyl. recently. Like, I yeah. love vinyl. Oh, okay. I love the resurgence love of vinyl. vinyl. In the past couple of years, it, it came back because not just. Listening to the vintage idea of it, but the art. The art and this yeah. ties in to you. Like the, the cool thing about vinyls, especially with the way that they were consumed, is you had these large album covers. Yeah. Well, nice. And so you had to put something on that little thing. Nice. White labels are cool, but you can't really sell yeah. a white label. Yeah. So what caused that was you, what, what happened is you didn't have this huge art movement of people actually trying to design their covers to look dope, to be fly. And that's something I know when we make our playlist and we put it together, we do like looking at the artwork and see what yeah, people And now today it's more like aesthetic too. As yeah. Like more people like, they like in the record players for aesthetic too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, but it's, it's the vibe. It's just like that. It's just, it has a nostalgic feeling to it. It, it does. And that then, is one of our questions though. So like. Nah, I know. My fault. It's natural. natural. make your album cover work or yeah. your artwork? Uh, so yes, I make, I make my album uh, covers. So my recent one, I made it, but I collab with my brother Bryce Okwe. Okay. Be mad out there in Lexington, so shout out to him. 
we've been doing a lot of artwork, we've been doing a lot of collabs, but usually I do most of my artwork and put it together and, you know, front back, because I'm not paying nobody for some right. of <laughs> yeah, really yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like he does, he lives that life. Um, and, and I know that from just, from looking at your, um, your social media and whatnot, just seeing what you put out and, and, and stuff like that. I like it, man. It's still, it actually stuff that makes you feel good. It doesn't hurt to look yeah. at it. Um, and talk about that with your background and you playing, um, Instructor playing instruments and etc. and learning the master sort of thing before you move into where you're at now. Did you did you plan on yourself going this specific direction, or did you think you had to make a decision between music or art? Mm. So originally it started off with just art. Like mm -hmm. that was my main thing. So like I said, my uncle who made beats, yeah. he also did art. Okay. So he would draw like so that's what got me into like superheroes, comic books, wrestling. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, that's why I brought the Dragon Ball Z piece with me. Uh, you know, he got me into things early on, and he was multi talented dude too. So, right. like, early on, I'm like, okay, I want to be a comic book artist. I want to be an animator. I want to do all these, you know, yeah. superhero things, maybe do stuff like that. And then, you know, as I grew up, that was always in my head. Um, and then around, like, high school, I started discovering more of my artwork. And then, but then around that time, I was introduced to a thing called Inspire the Fire. Hmm. And, um, they actually was just on the, what is that? America's Got Talent. They was on America's Got Talent. Okay. They was on there before there too, but it was a camp. And I met a whole bunch of art, other artists and stuff like that. So I went to the camp. Where's thinking the I'm, it's in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. It's not, it's not, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, 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 it's in Charlotte. So Dennis Reed, uh, I don't know if you guys know him, big out here. So um, basically I went to the camp. I'm going in. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go do art, you know, because my mom signed me up. I'm going to do art. And I'm like, man, I went and looked in the art class. I'm like, ain't nobody in here. I said, let me go to do um, rap and poetry. And so I was like, okay, I went into rap and poetry. Changed my life. Yeah. Forever. Seriously? So you went to a class? It was, it was a camp. It was like a... Uh, a camp. So yeah. it was a camp. Like, it's yeah. like a kid. They call it... Some some of the kids call it... It felt like camp rock. Like, oh, <laughs> oh all right. So, nice. like, so it was like... So it's a week camp. Uh -huh. We there for a week. Yeah. We integrated with all the... So we got dance, drama. My little brother went in drama. Uh, art, all these different things, and then it's a performance at the end of the week. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And um, I went. I ended up going. They was doing ciphers. I'm, I'm learning that. how to write better. I'm yeah. learning how to, because I'm like, I always was a fan of writing as well. I always okay. liked writing. I love English class and stuff like that. But um, I just started doing poetry, and then they was teaching us how to enunciate, do these different things. Yeah. Um, and I went to perform and learn how to write and rap, and I was like, wow, I, I like this. So I continued on the next year in high school. By the, were the teachers teaching it, or were this just you learning this from your peers? Kind of, it was. We had there was volunteer peers, oh, which is wow. funny. One of the guys who was uh, the my volunteer counselor, whatever you call, I don't know what they call him. His name is Indigo Joe. Now I'm rapping with him and doing shit. You know wow. what I'm saying? So shout out to oh, Indigo sorry. Joe. But how it's it's cool. How old were you when you went to the camp? Uh, I was in tenth grade, so I was probably like fourteen, okay. yeah. fifteen. Yeah. But that's when I really okay. Like dang, I can write poetry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So you just put it all the time right there. But but continue my fault. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you know, I hit high school. Um, end up linking with some of the people that was in the camp. They Dope. went to my school. I'm like, oh, they go to the school, and they started a poetry club and rap and poetry mm -hmm. club at yeah. the school. Yeah. Then we end up doing a performance with that. So that's when I'm like, okay, around that time, that's when like, I really was falling into love with like music, poetry, writing, and I was still doing my art thing. And then, um. Around that time, I was like, I'm still, I'm trying to make money off my art, even in high school. So I'm making clothes and painting on my clothes, painting on other people's clothes, yeah. drawing on shoes, doing all these different <laughs> things. Anything. Anything. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I've always been an entrepreneur. So yeah. like, I've always, I'm, I'm figuring out how to try to make some bread. Like, yeah. I can do why this, not? Why not make some bread for exactly. me? And then I go off to college. That's when I really start going into rap. Which school at? So I went to CP uh -huh. um, for a semester. That's okay. it. For, hey, I, hey. For, yeah. for, I was going for my associates in arts. I was planning to transfer, you know, thing. Let's go to CP and then transfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just never ended up finishing and yeah. um, just started working jobs. Yeah, and then, question, um, you ready? Go ahead. Personal question Were you happy about that? Do you think it turned out the way when you did not do that Look, or no? Everything happens for a reason mm -hmm. in the season. God worked out so perfectly, yeah. planned it out so perfectly. So, like, for the question where you said, did I feel like I had to choose? I felt like I, I could always do both. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm, but people would tell me like, oh, you should do this or you should just stick to this one thing. Mm -hmm. And then it was around the time where I was really pushing myself and, you know, on social media, I'm like, maybe I should do a separate page just for music. Maybe I should do this. And I was thinking about split that for a while. Split the, split the businesses. Mm -hmm. And then it was got to a point where like I started going to shows, doing open mics. And um, before like 
to really get into certain shows, I'm like, I'll just come do some art because they'd be like, Can you come do some live art? Yeah. I'm like, always, what well, well, can I always read? Yeah, I'm like, well, yeah. can I perform too. Yeah. Um, um, and then they asked me to come rap. I was like, Well, can I bring some art out? Can I bring a merch table? <laughs> like, and I, I'm, yes. not, I'm not paying to be a vendor, I'm bringing my art out. And you, yeah. you, I'm added to, to the aesthetic. <laughs> I'm added to the, it's I don't like, pay that vendor's tax. I don't, I don't. I used to, then I'm like, okay, I'm a pack, I'm the package deal. So yeah. it's, it comes it come as a package. Yeah. You, you get the art, you get the rap. You get yeah. the rap, you get the art. So they just started to all just come together. And then like, you know, when I moved to Kentucky um, recently, like two years ago, I got the name Hip Hop Picasso. Because yeah. at first I was just your favorite artist, favorite artist. Like, because oh. I'm just an all around artist. Because you know, I'm into fashion. Into like you really mean that, okay. favorite artist. Favorite artist. Yeah. yeah, so like, yeah. so in all aspects of yeah. art, not just one thing. So, uh-huh. so they end up just all all coming together so perfectly. So I was like, they go together. You can't you can't separate the two. They are all three. But those those are my purposes. My purposes is love. That's why. Talk yeah, about talk about it. Yeah, so yeah, usually I so I got my hats when we actually won the Lexington Music Awards out there. So oh, cool. it's been a blessing. So oh, I'm watching that. Yeah. So I, I got the hip hop category, and you know, it's beautiful. Yeah. But um, <laughs> <laughs> y'all just yeah. there's a you got the children in the background. Yeah, yeah. yeah they doing their thing. But right. um, it was beautiful to get that recognition, and uh, when I got out there. Um, you know, just coming with that talk about I, I had this movement back in 2018. So okay. 2018, I started it. It was like when I was trying to figure out my purpose. Who am I? What What on earth am I here for? And um, I started getting with other young people because I was like, you know, you get to that point in life when you're coming out of school, it's like, um, why? Where, 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 do where, do where, where do I go? Where do I go? Who am I? Artists. There's yeah. just so many avenues to art. It's yeah. like uh, A, B, C, D. Yeah, facts. And Make you just kind of feel, you just feel lost. Mm-hmm. Like, you just feel lost in the sauce. Everybody getting that point where they just like lost in the sauce. Mm-hmm. And it's like, God, what do I do? Mm-hmm. And I got to that point And I figured out like this gap that we all trying to fill is love. And, you know, even yeah. with love, love, I feel like for me personally, God is love. And, you know what I'm saying? I, I choose to spread that movement. Yeah, so. 24. I just have to make you, sure you oh, say that. You I didn't hear you say a that. Gap in the, in the you just said yeah. a gap. This, this whole so, that we're all trying to fill is a gap. So that's why I got the little indents and stuff in the like. Because we're not perfect. Because we're not perfect. But when you talk mm-hmm. golden and when you, you know, when the when the things that you say are really what it is and it's really about love, it's going to be beautiful regardless yeah. of your flaws, regardless like of what you it. look like. I even like the colors. So no, I that's, colors. that's why, no, that's I, why like I put that colors. together. So, and like around that time I was doing meetings with other young people. Mm-hmm. I didn't know where this was going. I started making shirts and stuff like that. This is the new, the newer logo I had made. And this is not the fresh hat. This is, I get the bummy one. This is, <laughs> I, I, I understand. I got the I got to sell. I got to sell. I keep this one. I keep the, you know what I'm saying, the sample. Get the prototype. The, this is yeah, the prototype, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I got the other ones in part. It still looks but, great. It's but still um, great. yeah, so I just was, you know, pushing that message. I kind of fell off from doing the things, right? But then I was building my artist brand of mm-hmm. who I was. And I, I was like, let me just start wearing my brand. Let me just, you know, I finally, my wife finally found some patches. She got it from yeah. about prior to Christmas. I, was, oh. I wanted some patches for so long. I was <laughs> trying to figure out what's the best way to make these shirts. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, I just rather do it myself. Get it done. Finally found a patch person. Got my got my patches made, been putting them on everything. So every single you mean thing that you sew, sew you sew too. Your your wife so sew, I I sew. So she found so I found somebody that makes. I learned how to sew in high school. Was a class. Yeah, Bruh, uh, I'm gonna home tell home you home this. Home, home, home. No, it was uh I can't remember what that came. What was the class in high well, school? Well, we had we had home texture. And, um, and, um, it was a part of home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you ready? <laughs> my fault. I was saying, right. girl, you know what I mean. Just different. Right, right. I can't. I can't remember what it was. No, but called. that's dope. I'm still because all right. This podcast, um, we're we're trying to make sure that folks who and I like it because you said it. You really said it. You come out. You don't have a direction. You don't know where you're supposed to go. There's not like a built path for you. No, right? it's, it's not. And so our podcast, something we like to talk about, and you're doing such a good job of the last yeah. moments, is explain the process to get to where you want to be at because. We, as young folks, we want, and this is one thing that we yearned for that we didn't have. We didn't have a guidebook. There was yeah. no guideline. We went from analog to digital world, and we just dumped out there and told them, yeah. make it. You got and it. You got it. And like, at that time, you couldn't get a Durham PhD for $300 no yeah. more. You can't buy a house for under twelve grand. Like, we're in a different world yeah. and economy. And so to figure out how to navigate it properly, 
those are gems. They're yeah. golden for people to see people like you do it properly, especially at your age. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's always amazing. I tell people I'm really happy about the younger generation because I think they actually got it together in the sense of understanding to believe in themselves when they're doing yeah, things that's fast. and where to put faith. I know there's this whole talk. I'm going to say this. I'm going to sound crazy, but I got to say it. There's this whole talk that God has left the youth, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't think so. They may have left the organized religion, mm -hmm. yeah. but I don't think that we have left God. You got to you gotta understand this. It's mm -hmm. relationship, spirituality, and yep. understanding like mm -hmm. it's more than just going to a building. It's more Free. than it's understanding who you are and yep. finding who you are through God. That's that's what it is. And whatever mm -hmm. God you believe or not, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own different yep. pathways. I know for me personally what I what I found and mm -hmm. how that brought me to the place that I am and finding out that if you put love into everything that you do, there's yes. no there's no telling what you could do. Like yes. and what you and your purpose is bigger than you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you put love into that to yeah, reach yeah, other people. Yeah. Like my art isn't for me. It isn't just for yeah. the people yeah. around me, but it's for my family. Yeah. It's for my wait for friends. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I get them. Just go relax. <laughs> so it's 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 bigger than just you. It you is. know what I'm saying? So speaking of them. Yeah, yeah got, you know, I got the kids with me. Yeah. Like, you know, I got married at nineteen as well. So wow. I'm married, I got, you know, I got kids, so like I had to find a way because during you the grown man, right. yeah, so you a grown man. I'm talking so during quarantine, yeah. that's when I really started to get in that bag. Like, okay, because oh, yeah. I have 2019, my firstborn was born, Beautiful. and you know, that's right when COVID and all these things were going on. That's when I was like, okay, mm -hmm. that's actually why I brought that Kendrick Lamar piece right there. Oh, that's one of the first ones, like, that I realized, oh, I could paint faces, yeah, wow. I, I no could good. do it. And Dope. so, you're basically self taught, yeah. That's what so, I like. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I give credit to my teacher, Miss Schaefer, though, and a lot of my high school teachers, because they, you know, really, uh, she really helped develop me a lot, uh, you know, as far as like, you know, just making sure I'm critiquing me, because I started taking art, uh, AP art and stuff like oh, that. Oh, wow. So I was taking all the art classes wow. in school. Like, I'm. You were about this life. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. And, you know, that, that even came full circle. My teacher actually been going to schools now, and she invited me to come to. Uh, Providence, yeah. Providence Day High School mm -hmm. out here. Um, it's a private school. That's I went a crazy good school. Perform. Yeah. Wow. And did some paintings for that week, and they paid me to come out and do they my thing. Well. So, yeah, they treat me excellent. Like the <laughs> food was good, like too. To hear. That's all I like to hear. They treat That's me excellent. Cool. So okay. with the arts, do you feel like you can express yourself more through art or through music? In both ways, I, I honestly prefer music now. I've been more, more on the music lane. Like, okay. People ask me to choose. I love both. I love art, but I feel right now, like, I, my passion is music. Like, right? yeah. putting words together and expressing myself that in ways that I didn't even know how I felt. Mm -hmm. I would hear a beat, just be writing, you know what I'm saying? And then come up with the hook, and then I listen back, like, oh, I felt that way. I didn't even know I felt that way. Recording. Yeah, just yeah. recording. And I even had to, you know, I learned how to record myself. So I was just, engine, you know, just on YouTube. Thank God for, you know, access. Uh, <laughs> You're and right. Having that You're access right. to tools that we can use. So, you know, when I have that that space to just be able to free myself, and I have these feelings that I want to share that I can't, I can't exactly share through art all the time that I, I don't know how to share through, but with words, I can just give just it to flow. you. Just flow. Just flow. Yeah. Just give it to you. And there's some empowerment with having that voice. Especially to be able to speak to people directly, exactly. get those thoughts out so that they can hear them. It makes it it creates a, a situation where basically you have a sounding board, and you don't have to make yourself live with those thoughts. You can allow them to live, put them out there. But I really support people that put, oh Lord, and this is hard to say this because I listen to crazy stuff. Yeah, but yeah, I like people that that support um, and and give to people emotional. Areas, you yeah. know, space of, of, of that, so you can validate yourself. Yeah. You don't think you're crazy. That's what I really want to say. And put people in your, you can yeah. give access to people in your yeah, life. Yeah, like, facts. Yeah, that's like that's opening the, a whole world. Open a whole, yeah. That's, open a I don't know how artists do that. Y'all are really wrong. Yeah, it, it took a long, it, it took a long time for me to get to this point. Even like you know, like I said, I started like recording music at 18. Mm -hmm. okay. So how many years? At six, six. Years? Yeah. six years. So I've really been like making music, recording, putting it out for six years now. Okay. So like it ain't just start but like even then like the first couple years like i was putting music out on soundcloud my first song it did pretty well it hit like 2k but wow. it wasn't a good song like you know i mean it was <laughs> it was good yeah, but was like it, you was know it, was it trash it was, it was trash Dang, it's the, it's honest. Yeah, i mean like for, for me personally but it i was i was decent you know yeah. what i'm saying but i was just i was still learning but like i still have songs Question, that did i never you have about. did you have snares on your beats yeah like then um, you ready you're already better than me 
<laughs> yeah, Mike would be laughing. You know, we had no snacks. Yeah, already better than it was just work. beats. Y'all no ain't had no YouTube beats? <laughs> Bro, we didn't have, look, again, before, so, before that, before that. Before YouTube, yeah, that. we didn't have no time. We didn't have you had to listen. To, so how did Babyface make this track back in the day? And you got to imagine, it was weird. Like trying to, Yeah, it was weird. So we had to go, okay, yo, we found the old rappers. But we had we had some hats spilling in the roll. We, we just, we, we weren't constructing it. We were trying to be different. We were trying to be weird. We were trying to be weird. What year was this? Like 2003, maybe. That's trying to be outcast. Yeah, we really were. You're right. You're right. We really were. We, we were trying to be Pharrell. Yeah, we were trying to be Pharrell. We thought we were going to be cool. We had our little nice little drums and stuff with weird sounds. And again, oh, yeah, it was a vibe. I love those things. But no snake. When you found the power of a snake, Jeez. Bro, that changed the world. So you already starting off from his space. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, you're fast forwarded. And I like seeing and talking to young folks because, like, I'm not that old, but right. I feel like I'm ancient. It, it feels like like you all are so much more advanced yeah. at your ages than a lot of folks that deal with. And I know we deal with problems, same issues that people dealt with back in the day. Come yeah. like six, there ain't no change. We're still humans experiencing life, right? But it's nice to watch how advanced you all are. Um, even though they don't let us know that people like you exist, I think y'all know their worth. I think yeah. they you know your worth way more, way more, way more. earlier yeah. than yeah. we do. Yeah, we got to process that. Yeah, yeah. It's, and it's, I'm it's, younger than him, so yeah. I, you know. But y'all just, I don't know. Y'all know. Y'all don't play that. Y'all yeah, I say because even y'all even so I went to Mallow Creek High School, okay, and it was like even seeing now, like all the kids, are, like this, the people that were in my class and in my grade, like they're all doing something. Yeah. I know guys doing photography, big DJs. Yeah. NFL, like, you mm. know, all these different things. I'm like, but it's it's beautiful to see, like, we, can, we all cut from some of that same cloth. Yeah. Yes, yes. And, yeah, plus you all, um, I think you all do a better job at, what's the word, not requesting, but demanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Demanding. What we were doing, we was, yeah, I'm not about the civil rights people. The civil rights people talk, we was negotiating and asking politely. Y'all like, mm -hmm. like, no. I'm leveraging give it, give it everything, everything. I need that one. Yep, this is mine. I own all my stuff. You will not have me on the 360 deal. Facts. Yeah, Facts. Facts. And, <laughs> and um, that leads right on to our next question and just ownership. And I know um, our previous question, Mr. Bill, on it was just asking about knowing your worth, like yeah. you were saying. Um, I'm going to hit you with this before I give you this full question, but David Bannon made me really understand this. Artists must put work on what you do. Yeah. If not, people will take you at what you value yourself at. Dr. Phil, weird to say this, but Dr. Phil's right. You tell people how to treat you. That's and right. if you tell them not to treat you well and you don't show them that you deserve that proper treatment, they will do whatever they want to do. They'll make that decision themselves. And I know a lot of folks that are in the um, realm of frequency you always love, especially folks who might be into religion, loving loving the Lord and stuff like that, they may take us as being people who are not, how do you say, forceful. Yeah. I'm like, nah, we can be just as yeah, forceful. Yeah. We just are ratchet. Um, but moving into ownership. Say it, exactly. I like that. Stern, y'all. Stern. Um, do you create your own, uh, not create your own outcomes, but my fault, because we already asked about this, but are you interested in starting your own production company? I'm not. I'm not interested in starting my own production company. Yeah, I would look for art. I would like to have people I partner with. Oh, I feel like that's that's that's. Go ahead. Don't I say that all the time? I, 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 I'd rather have I'd rather have people I partner and collaborate with because like some things are just out of your realm and mm -hmm. it's gonna take it's it's gonna you only have so much bandwidth. Mm -hmm. I'm already my bandwidth I'm is like. Go ahead. I'm like, bro. I'm already on my music tip, my mm -hmm. art. Clothes, yeah. trying to put out these different things and then promote it. Then I'm on social media doing all these different things. So it's like, I don't want to spread myself too thin, but I'd rather find somebody that's aligned with what I'm doing. Okay. And, I, and I found that since like, since I, like, like I said, when I started music and doing all these things, mm -hmm. when I align with people, I find somebody to collaborate with. I build on that, find somebody to collaborate with, build on that. Once the time the season is up, we on to the next thing we're doing bigger. And like better. associate or I have to ask this, you ready? Not that it's ratchet, not a gotcha question, but associates or friendship is. I, I, I or do you have I, to I say I say more sure. like when I when I partner with somebody, yeah. when I'm they have to be on the same levels with me. Okay. Like so it, it really becomes like a family thing. They become family. You don't just do businesses because of dollars. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't. I can't. That's what I want. I because you know, you get to those points where you're working with different people. Like I'm I'm even in a contract right now with this this situation. That's it's not it's <laughs> 
Like it was cool at I'm first, afraid, but it was but it, it was a season, and you know it's for, it was for a season. But I just I don't I'm not being valued in that area. And even when you talk about, I feel like I'm not being valued completely. I'm not getting my full worth of what everything that I do. Yeah. And you know the money has to match. I got kids. Period. Right. Everything. Every, I got I got family. Yeah. To take care of. And I got bills to pay. So. What's your sign? Uh, I'm a Virgo. I see it. Yeah. Gosh, that's why I was I should have known. I, I should have known. I felt the Virgo vibe. That was vibe. And I was like, I felt the Virgo vibe. Yeah, she was a good I'm a Virgo. Like, but I'm also a creative soul. Like, yeah. everything he was saying, I was like, that's, what what that's why I was quiet yes. over here. That's what was waiting to the end of the episode to yeah. ask him. I already feel the vibe. I had to ask him, but y'all gave my high five instead. Yeah. 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 Very like you know what I'm saying software development yeah. doing all these different things. He's from so my dad's from Trinidad and Tobago, oh. so he was already well advanced before he got here. He got here around 13, yeah. 14 or something like that. And then you know he he graduated about like fifteen, like early on. He teaching wow. college, he's teaching it. college courses and yeah. stuff like that. So he was like genius dude. Yeah. So he was like you know I was kind of mentioning it to him a little bit because he's already on the Bitcoin thing trading. He knows all about. It. He created his own trading platform and whatnot. What? But, we need does he yeah, we need can, we use it? can we use this training part? I don't, I don't know if I don't it's think not he, you know, it's not it's not up anymore. That's what I'm wondering. Um but so basically we I was like, okay, dad, these NFTs out, look what's going on. We actually created the NFT. It's a Tony Wavy NFT that's out. Um I think I, 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 gotta give some information. I, I do. I haven't I haven't been on it as much. I feel like NFTs kinda went down and yeah, you know that's um, what I, I was it's it's been down, so I'm like I ain't really been on it as much. So like so, yeah, so I've been focusing on the weekend. So yeah. But what do you think, because here, here's one of our questions. I'm just asking you this. Since you do both art, mm -hmm. I know a lot of um, well known artists who particip were participating in NFTs normally are doing it as a, a form of promotion. So, yeah. like, one of the things is with music nowadays, it's less of a physical item outside of the vinyl coming back. And then, of course, the folks with the cassette than it used to be because you used to go get it for the physical uh, attraction to the music. Like yeah. You would go get it, get your CD, get your vinyl, read the album notes, look at the pictures because at the time back in uh, pre-2005, pre I would say, 2006, you didn't have the ability to just go online and look at your artist, Spotify page, et cetera, to see where they came from. Et All that information had to be in the notes, yeah. the liner notes. So you would go to the liner notes and know who made this music, who was playing the drums on this, who, was, who did the album art, what where where he wrote this at? What he was feeling like, and they would write these letters to the fans mm. in the album, like such and such. It's, I it's you yeah. Yeah. Right. And so you would go and consume it that way. Um, now you can use the NFT to do the same yeah. exact thing, and that's what I thought it was gonna do really well and, and go somewhere. And I know once people got back outside, of course, we went back to our normal yeah. regular day. Um, it might come back. I, think, yeah. I think it just got real oversaturated yeah, real and overhyped and people Not like the value, the value the value went down when everybody's buying these monkey things they don't know about. Oh, the monkey thing. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> talk about the monkey thing. Wait, nah, those things blew my mind. They, they, they was blowing up yeah. just like different monkey variations, <laughs> just with different costumes and different things and all the I mean, it was a ploy, you know, with all the bigger artists like yeah. Snoop, all these other guys, yeah. they're they're buying them up. Oh, everybody buy was the board eight. Everybody come get the board eight and whatnot, you know. And it, it just became kind of like a hype thing. And when things start to go off a of hype, yeah. it, it devalues it because it just becomes a trend. Mm -hmm. And trends Thank only you. trends only last a season. Thank so you. So how do you feel about streaming versus right downloads? Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't I don't really feel feel no type of way about it because like I, I do a lot of streaming. I haven't been like I haven't directly put anything out for a direct download to like where you're paying for it. Mm -hmm. um, I look forward to doing it in the future. Right mm -hmm. now, I'm just trying to build the catalog and. Just, just listen. The catalog is good, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. listening so, to it. I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. just listen for now. What I got coming up soon is just like. Yeah, tell us about it. What's yeah. coming up? Oh, I got honestly, I got a lot of things that I've been cooking up. So right now, um, as far as musically, um, mm -hmm. I've been working, collaborating with this dude named Gosh Josh. Um, oh he, yeah. He was on the Guns Down, and then we got a record called. Um, around that we working on that we want to put out and then it's actually so like a whole little tape so i'm trying to get them together okay. on that but oh wow we got a whole little tape we're trying to put out um no, also we promoting that like crazy like we got some great music on there some amazing music but powerful music yeah, powerful, powerful music. music like this joint, this this is one song this not even i don't even know if this is gonna be on the tape i gotta save it but it's it's a um 
<laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a song called Get Up. And okay. it's not even completely, but it's like, you know, just, I like to make music that people could feel that they, everybody could resonate, not yeah. just one person. Yeah. And I think that's just such a beautiful song. I you just, make it I easy to make my playlist. How do you I'm describe really. your vibe or your aesthetic as an artist? Like, if somebody I'm, had to ask you. I feel like, so I want to say I'm a conscious rapper, but I'll say I make like, like hip hop. I'm, I'm under, I say I'm under the hip hop category. It's not rap. So yeah, I want to say rap. I, I'm a rapper. I, I, I'm hip hop, but I rap. Okay. I'm just, I get it. Because that right. was the question right. we nah, asked. No, you're right. You're right. I'm I like right. that you said it like that too. But I rap, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I, I like to put songs together with meaning. I like, they, they got to, they got to, everything don't even got to be meaning, like just concise. Like even the topics I'm talking about, I can make be talking make about, sense. make it make sense. Like yeah. I just can't be saying a whole bunch of random words and yeah. they not all go together. Like this word has to go to this word, to this word for it to make sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it has to be a sequence of things. And sequence. Some people it like, I feel, some people I feel like they just put random bars. Like mm -hmm. I did this, this, this. Oh, I got this girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like. <laughs> I, I, rock, I, I rock with all forms of music. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like There's trap. a common place for it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, still, yeah, I, like, I, yeah, I still listen to the Dirk, yeah. like Thugs, you yeah. know what I'm saying? All these guys. Yeah. But, like, I really been in my R&B bag for real right now. I love I mean, <laughs> I'm you know, telling you. you music. To? So, what, 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 right now, on my way here, so I, I don't know if I, I just got here from Kentucky yesterday. Okay. Oh, you just touched back. You just touched back down. Yeah, I just touched back down. Uh, you know, I'm just here for the weekend. So, y'all come here at the right good time. <laughs> Oh, you like it? Yeah, yeah. Y'all no, I was like looking at all this stuff. I was like, how are you going to be here today? I'm not even going to lie. I was like, I ain't saying that. Because I, I was supposed to have a show. Follow, yeah, I was following him. I was supposed to have a show today. Yeah. Oh. Um, out here. Uh, but we canceled it. Well, well, we postponed it because of the rain. It was outside yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, but we, yeah, y'all got me at a great time. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. And then, I, and then we, he told me to postpone it. I was like, well, I'm already on the podcast. So I'm, I'm going to just come out, come yeah. vibe and whatnot. Yeah. And I got some other stuff going on. So yeah. we just come rock out. But what was I talking about? <laughs> I forgot that quick. Uh, what was I talking about? Uh, R&B band. Yeah, yeah. Oh, R&B band. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who I've been listening to. So on the, on the way here, I was listening to Sir. Oh, yes, wow. That, that oh, heavy. Sir. Yo. Really? On the way here. Stop. Ah, the right. heavy album. Yeah. I felt that because I felt like you know like it's been it's been heavy on me recently like just, mm -hmm. I just had a lot of weight on me like yeah. you know life personal stuff like just everything just trying to get everything together so hearing that album and the things like I'm not perfect all these different things well, sir right Man, I haven't had an album speak to me like that in a long time like I just did some blue lips by Schoolboy Q that was good yeah but like this one just hit me like Bam. it was it, made for your it, situation. It was, it was made for my situation right on time like it was right on time and i got on the road i ain't been on the road in a while yeah it's been about three months since i've been back since december so wow. i like you because before when i first moved i moved about a year and a half ago i'll trap about every two weeks coming back, back and forth back, back and forth, and forth oh, doing wow. murals shows Speaking of murals, I have to do a mural coming up, so I'll be hitting you up for some work. Okay, yeah, for some tips. I got you. I got you. I want to see how you how you draw it out, the measurements. Yeah. To get the. It's how do y'all do that? Um, it's. I ask that everybody that does a mural. So at first I used to. So when I first started, like I did my first mural during the quarantine. Like that's when I first became a full time artist. Oh. My friend's mom hit me. She was like, "Can you do paint my whole backyard, my fence?" Jamaica and all that type of oh, stuff. Cool. Oh, yeah, she paid me like 4K. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be an artist full time. I'm Woo! not going back to you. I'm going to start doing mules all the time. It, I'll it's it's great. I'll come a whole thing. <laughs> so at first, I was just, you know what I'm saying, just doing like, you know, like freehanding it. And then there's okay. other ways, obviously, you got the grid method. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm doing. Grid, like, that's what I was wondering. But forget all of that. I'm more straight. Yeah. Hey, forget get all, all of that. Yeah. You can project it. Mm -hmm. Right. But they said, I got you alone on that. That's like, so smart. I'm you you do have Smart. that in certain circumstances it may work sometimes it doesn't but you got to know the how to you got the scales because sometimes some rooms are super close yeah, and tight, yeah, yeah. so you're not gonna be able to use it so yeah. you gotta, but when you have that advantage at the end of the day wow, your art is a business smart. you want the best outcome you want, you want the smarter, best product harder. smarter harder and you want to have give people value so yeah. i'm gonna give you value by giving you the best product that you can exactly get i'm gonna pull it up for a projector give you exactly what you want mm -hmm. I can show you before we even do it. When I give you a consultation, I'm gonna put the projector up, show you. Say that word. Yeah. And you say and consultation. Yeah. Ah, I show you a business plan. Yeah. Come on. That's how you gotta do it. I like that. So, Call it Anderson. Get you Always tell black folks, please present your business in a very professional fashion. Yes. Make sure that you give the same service, et cetera, that you would out to anybody in the community because one of the things that we lack, specifically in the black community, and other communities have yeah. the same issue customer service, good products, and quality work. Yeah. You gotta deliver that before yeah. you can ask for anybody to pay top dollar or Facts. top of the market.
Yeah. So that's why I'm like, working, yeah. and you know, even when you talked about volume earlier, like it started off, I started off like $15 per square foot. Then I started to go up yeah. and then, but sometimes I would find myself devaluing myself for mm -hmm. certain situations and, you know, be like, okay, I can give you a deal on this just to get it out there. And you know, everything's planting seeds sometimes. Sometimes you do got to plant some seeds. Yeah, I, I, did, I didn't did whole, whole murals for free. Right. Mm. See, yeah, like, no, I'm gonna talk to you. I yeah, I did. I did. So <laughs> it, was, it was this joint called the night Y'all heard of the '90s Museum? I did a whole thing because I seen another artist. Yeah. Me, and I want to go there and do it. So I did that whole thing for free. But she blessed me actually with the, the opportunity to do like my whole uh, my first album release for Hop Star, my project release. Oh, she, she, she allowed me to do that there in that so, space. So in that, in so that space, build a, you built a bridge. I'm, also, you know, exactly. Back. That's another lesson. That's so, smart. Yeah. So sometimes it is you can. If you want to do barter system, do your yeah. barter. Do your barter. That's what for. Y'all original barters. Yeah. That's I, what I, like, that's, I, I say I've been using the barter system sometimes, yeah. so it's, it come in handy because I know, you know, yeah. from music videos and all of that, it's been a blessing. So. so what can we expect from you in the future besides the music? What art can have you do? So, yes, I'm actually working on a collection. So I didn't bring those pieces in now, but I have a piece that I did in my son, Prince. So I'm working on a whole series like that. Uh, it's, it's talking about innocence and, you know, just I wanted to bring back a nostalgic feeling and the colors to really pop. And I'm really tapping into my style as an artist and really just having those things that's familiar to people. Yeah. But that's something that could that could reach all audiences. Mm -hmm. So like you, a lot of times I do the hip hop stuff and, you know, maybe do a face if I'm not a fan of that, really. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I did that before just to like, OK, like I like painting faces. I'm a paint popular people or whatnot. People like it. Yeah. People like it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good fan service and whatnot, yeah. but it's not good for like, you know, longevity. Longevity. Yeah. It's not good for like, you know, being a, a, a artist artist, having yeah. having your own individual individual style. pieces, yeah. styles, pieces and things. So people want to see that. So I'm actually working on that series. I plan on doing some exhibitions out there in Kentucky. Hopefully I can get some out here. Yeah, yeah out man. Here. I'm sorry. I love I love Lexington, but like not Kentucky, I said Lexington, because okay. Louisville's a little bit That's further right. ahead. Like they're more like Charlotte and, okay. and, and that's in that sense. Yeah. But Lexington uh, is a little bit behind because like even at the residency that I'm at, I'm like the third black artist. But I'm the I'm the first black painter. So the first one was a dude named Divine Krama. He's on my uh, Guns Down record. Okay. He's yeah. activist, yeah. does a lot of things yeah. on Jennifer Hudson, whatnot. He's they brought him in as a resident, but he did, he just has a little office in there. So he wasn't even like he's like Recording artist. Recording, oh, yeah. So not yeah. a visual artist. So my yeah. boy Bryce, he's the first visual artist, okay. and I'm the first black painter. painter. Okay. So like y'all are setting a standard. So yeah. yeah. So it's like it's just crazy to see, but we we trying to reach those levels even to where Charlotte is at. Like I was just last night at CLT is Creative with Michaela Benson and all those people. They do an amazing job. They had a mixer with a whole bunch. So I think y'all should definitely go there. Makers and creators tap in with COT is creative. They always have stuff going on. Okay. But um, as far as stuff I got going on, I also got Mad Wave Radio with under NPR. So it's like, oh! so me and Bryce, we hey! work together. It's yeah. with WKY uh -huh. Radio and then NPR. So it's on both of their websites. They right. post it up. So we're on episode two right now. So it's like a podcast. It's artist talk and do all those things. We don't got video format yet. We do got, we just did our camera, like my phone camera, yeah. but we working yeah, on that. Yeah, we, on episode, we on episode two. Yeah. So we just do, we talk about what's going on in hip hop. We talk about what's going on in the community. Mm -hmm. We talk about what's going on um, in arts and movies, yeah. even Kara oh, Toriyama, he passed. We talked yeah. about that and his influence on hip hop, all these different things, so. Check it out. Yeah, so y'all check y'all check it out. Yeah, so check, check it out. Yeah. Can people check search, you out? Yeah, search, yeah, just uh, just search Mad Wavy Radio if you want to check out the radio so show, or just hit me. You know what I'm saying? I'm on all social media platforms under Tony Wavy. All you gotta do T O N Y W A V Y music T O N Y W A V Y. Right. It's, 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 it's it's very simple. Just you, all you gotta do is do a little googling. Uh, you'll pretty far, find it pretty quickly. So if you want to check out the music. I'm on YouTube, music videos out. Y'all check out that Guns Down. Yep. We pushing that message up, you know, putting the guns down in the community. I see Charlotte just has something crazy going on. Yes. Where they, everybody's pushing, put the guns down. My boy, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Hustle Man. I don't know if y'all know Hustle Man out here. Ooh. He's pretty, he's pre he's pretty big in like the, the hip hop. He's yeah. like, he's a, you know, just a character. I say that. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's, he's a dope guy. He just do a lot. But, you know, he, I believe he just got shot. But like, I want to push that same message out here in Charlotte. So just trying to reach that community because yeah. I want it to be like, it's not just a Kentucky thing where it's fine. guns down, but it's, it's everywhere in the whole world. Memphis, LA, and I'm not saying LA. don't carry, don't carry, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, keep your stuff, but like, don't be. No, no, that's not the first alternative. That's not, that's, that's not the first. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Speak. You got, yeah, you got words. words, speak, you know what I'm saying? Communicate. You don't have to go straight to aggression. Yes. Or, you know, violence. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's so many other answers before that. Yeah. 
So I agree. Man. I like the way you summed that up. Say it. You know what I mean? Shout out? Yeah, shout out to everything. Oh, uh, yeah, shout, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot. I Shout out to all the surfers, everybody who's riding away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why, because I wanted to answer. If you could explain your name. Just, oh, the, oh, I'll explain the name. I'll explain the name real quick before I go into all the shout outs and stuff. So, Tony Wavy, I created that name back in high school, mm-hmm. around 10th grade, on Instagram, Tony.Wavy. I had a few variations at first, but then I stuck with Tony Wavy because I got that because I had waves. Ah, and so, you know what I'm saying? I, I was, was a, I was a waver, like, okay. hey, I be in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> honey strokes, honey, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Watch yep. style, keep the right. do rag on, brushing all day yes. long. I was a waver, so, but then now it got to the point where everything's a wave. Like, uh-huh. the vibe is a wave. I'm, I'm on my own wave. I flow on the beat. It's mm-hmm. wavy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm rapping, it's wavy. My style, wavy. Mm-hmm. Everything wavy, so, you know. And then as That's far as cool. shout-outs, I just want to shout-out to all my family. I can't say every individual name because everybody's part of that journey. You know what I'm saying? My mom, dad, all those people, my wife, everybody. Mm-hmm. Cousins, auntie, they've all supported me uh, from my collective, YH Art Gang, who out here. Shout-out to them. I'm going to just say family. Thing. Family's direct. And then I'm going to say um, YH Art Gang. That's my collective that's out here. Yeah. Uh, TQ, Portia, uh, Art, Johnny, who make all my beats. Uh-huh. Um, everybody who part of Danny. Um, and then... Of course, my boy Bryce. Uh, shout out Art Lee. Shout out Art everybody. Lee. Art Lee. Yeah, that's, Art Lee our, that's what we know here. Yeah. But you got to put us on to the rest of Charlotte. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a lot of stuff that's going on in Charlotte. Like honestly, like so. Hell, man, I know it is. You can feel the vibe in the city and the the amount of folks working here, doing stuff that is good. It's amazing. It's yeah. still good. And it's they giving out a lot. Hey, for all the artists out there, they make they giving out a lot of grants. That's, it's a lot of grants and over a real lot of money. In it's, it's it's a lot of money. You got to fill them out. Yeah, yeah. You gotta have to pay to that's it. That's all. I'm not saying because a lot of them don't even be that hard. But yeah. just tap in, like because there's things like CLT shout coming out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, come, I'm gonna go to that um, this next weekend. Oh, that is right. So, I'm gonna be here. I will be here. Shout that's didn't, birthday, shout didn't pick me to perform, but it's okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> next year, right? They, they keep it's on missing out on the gym. It's it's all right. Soon enough, they be calling. But uh, you know. <laughs> I told you, you they, they, they got that, they got that good. That's that confidence. Yeah. But but yeah, we, we, yeah look, we're everything, we're everything, we're everything, everything in this timing, everything yeah, in this timing. So yeah. it's it's a lot of people. Out. Shout out, shout out to y'all. Shout out to the pod. Shout that. out to Hilltop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For always showing love to the yeah. music and everything, and yeah. putting me on y'all playlist. I truly appreciate it. Honestly, like, it's like I tell you, you make the playlist you need to make because <laughs> I can put put your music on there. Like, all right. I'm picking my pen, nobody. Right. I feel good, yeah. confident, putting it on there. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, this is something that I've been dealing with because I took this over, but I'm like, man, yo, some stuff is I want to put up here, but I don't need to get backlash. Yeah. So trying to figure right. out something that's motivational, but also has some fun in it. And I tell everybody, got to put a little ratchet on it because you have a little weird. ratchet. You got a little ratchet. Season, the part season is in there because it's what I'm listening to. But, you know, I always like to make sure we have things that you can listen to, drive you through your week. Get five songs five days a week. You drive right on through, listen to the podcast, feel good about yourself, confident, know that you learned something from what you heard. So yeah. try not to waste anybody's time. We greatly appreciate you being here with us yeah. today. Asylum. Yes, yes, yes. What I have to do, I was about to do my little wrap up. <laughs> I must shout out Asylum Digital Studios. This is where we're recording at today here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, our, our friend, man, good friend, um, supporter, Scott Slagle, is allowing us to use uh, the studio. We've actually been here. We're here twice this season. Uh, we were here last season as well. Obviously, a great space for us to do this, but they also have an excellent studio for you to come here and use the services that you need to while you're here in Charlotte. Please mm-hmm. stop in, say hello, go to the website. Matter of fact, we're on the website, the pictures and stuff of it, yeah. and doing this on the website. So um, I'm telling you, we support lots of great equipment in here. Yeah. Yeah. The staff is Jeez. nice. The place is clean, super nice restroom area. You can get your little stuff easy bag. Like they set it up well. So yeah. and it's off the beaten path, so you don't have to worry about traffic, etc. It's great parking, no problem. Whew. With that being said, my name is DJ and what? This Maya. is Tony Wavy, hip hop Picasso. Man, we appreciate you today, but I forgot I can't do this on the background. We got Mike. Skip is here. Skip has landed. <laughs> so we have the whole crew here. We greatly appreciate you being here with us today. Um, I always like to tell folks um, at the end to make sure you tell somebody next to you that you love them, that you appreciate them, that you care. Right. You don't know what's going on the next day, what's going on in life, but we got to let people around us know that we love them. Love them. Talk, love. Talk love. Talk love. Yeah. <laughs> Until the next episode, peace. Peace. Don't you talk, go, I talk.